They're bored. You're bored. What's a family to do? I have it. Let's go to the salt block. Problem solved. Because the salt block has something for everyone. You see, it's a city block that's the cultural center of Hickory. There you'll find the Patrick Beaver Memorial Library, the Catawba Science Center, and the Hickory Museum of Art. Therefore, salt, science, arts, literature, together. On this visit, we'll focus on arts and science. Let's start at the Art Museum. This museum dates to 1944, and your visit begins in a gallery dedicated to the man who started it. The well, Paul Whitener Gallery is named for our founder, the first director, the first curator, and you will see either his work and or work he collected. Your next stop is the Shuford Gallery, which features shows usually dedicated to local artists. And then you head upstairs to the main gallery with its constantly changing major shows. It's a big space. We don't want to waste it by putting a lot of little things all around because you've got this high ceiling and it's a challenge, but we want to utilize that height. And whether you see a traditional exhibit or a muralist at work, you won't be bored. Just beside the main gallery is the museum's permanent objects gallery. It contains one of the best art glass collections in the country. It all has a connection with North Carolina, and that's through the Penland School of Art and Crafts. Anyone, young or old, will appreciate the beauty and the colors. Going on upstairs, you'll find a completely different exhibit. The last year on the third floor, we've had an exhibition called Discover Folk Art. And that is our, just about our entire folk art collection. One of the most interesting stories is that of local artist Minnie Reinhardt, who didn't learn to paint until she was 77 years old. She had cataracts removed and painted for about the next 20 years, but she just got into it. Well, after getting your fill of art and artists, it's time to go next door to the Catawba Science Center, where there's plenty to learn for children and adults. You'll actually go into the Naturalist Center first, where we have all kinds of things that they might experience in nature. You think of the outdoorsman, where they might have come in contact with animals. There are lots of opportunities to touch animal pelts, the, the fur on animals. You can see tortoises, you can see alligators, you can see lizards and cockroaches and all kinds of things. Go to the raceways exhibit and roll balls down tracks and find out what makes a difference between one that has a loop-to-loop -loop that's bigger than the other loop-to-loop -loop, or what happens when the slope changes, which ball gets to a certain place. The kids still have too much energy? Try virtual reality or step into the next room. Downstairs is Energy Avenue. Lots of places to get in those chairs, pull yourselves up and down. Expect a lot of screaming to go on because the kids are always laughing and screaming down in that area. From there, we can move on to an exhibit hall, one of the temporary exhibits that we change out on a rotating basis. So every three months we have something new in there just to freshen it up. And then you'll want to go over to the aquarium in the Mill Hall and Planetarium building. What a lot of people really get into is the, the touch tanks where we have rays and sharks. Catawba Science Center was actually the first North Carolina museum to have a touch tank with sharks in it. So, after a day of art, science, laughing, and learning at the salt block, there's only one conclusion. It's a great day out. That was an awesome idea. I'm Jeff Klein for North Carolina Weekend. That was awesome.